Welcome to using Parted Magic remotely. In this segment, we will take the Parted Magic CD that we modified in the last segment, and we will access it over the network. To contact us, or to learn about other video series as well as our consulting services, please visit OpenSmallBusinessSolutions.com. So let's get started. First, I'm going to copy our modified CD ISO image to an external hard drive. From there, we could burn the ISO to a CD, or in this case, I'm going to just boot the ISO from within VirtualBox. So we're going to shut off the computer. And we're going to install SSVNC on the machine that we would like to use to provide the remote support. We'd also like to install Vinagre. In this case, Vinagre is already installed, so there's nothing to do. We're going to open up SSVNC, and for the VNC host display, we want to put in colon 4. 01. 401 will correlate to the port 5901 that we configured on the Parted Magic CD. Next we want to go to Options, and we want to make sure that Reverse VNC Connection dash Listen is checked off, and we can click Done. We can save the configurations, I'm going to call this Parted-Magic.VNC and click Save. And now we can listen. At this point, our workstation is ready to receive a session from the Parted Magic CD. On another computer, I booted off of the modified ISO. As a result, we're listening for the session, and here it is. We can close out of things, and we can completely remote control it. As you can see, we have the support and the VNC server icon on the desktop. In this case, the machine was wired into the network before we booted up. If we booted up first and then it connected to the network, we could double click on the support or the VNC server icons to get the remote support running. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to close out of this session. Next, I'm going to open up Vinagre, the VNC client. And then I'm going to try connecting to it by IP address. And we got right in. As you can see, we have full control of the system. And I'm going to turn it off. That concludes this segment. In this segment, we tested the modified parted Magic CD that we'd created. We tested it both listening for an incoming connection, as well as reaching out to it through an outgoing connection. 